Trayvers here with a part three of all Spider-Man characters, which, uh, you know, this is really fun to make a video about. And is that is that Mr. Fantastic right there? Seriously? Okay, okay. Follow me. Oh, that was so weird. Well, we ended off part two with Spider Woman flying. Uh, this is kind of like in Spider Man Far From Home, where uh, he where he kind of pulls out his uh, gliders, web gliders. Uh, underneath his arms. Uh, that is also shown in Spider-Man Homecoming. So that's really cool. And it's also shown in the comics, I believe. I'm not that sure. Uh, but Spider-Woman's pretty cool. She has, has the spider sense. She has her yellow stuff. I don't know what it is. Uh, I guess it's webs, maybe? But still really cool. Uh, on her fight, her fighting style is pretty usual. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So, her fighting style is pretty usual. Uh, this is her from the San Diego Comic Con, and I really like how she looks here, and yeah, really cool. So there's Spider-Woman, next up we have Stan Lee, which, now that I think about it, he, he should count in every vi video of all characters. But the reason why he's here specifically because he uh, is his best character is probably Spider-Man. So uh, uh, it's sad to see Stanley die. Uh, what? What? Why I heard? Why I heard uh, he was dead? I I was like, uh, that's a joke, right? And it was no joke. It was real. So that so that was really sad. Uh, and that makes me wonder if there will ever be a Lego Marvel Super Heroes 3. Because, I mean, unless they want to use old, uh, recordings of Stanley in the game if they ever make a Lego Ball Super Heroes 3 then that could work and I don't think it's necessary if they don't include Stanley uh, it would be a good way to remember him so yeah Stanley is really cool he has the web ability. He can uh, shoot stuff from his glasses, uh, like the Human Torch. He has the Spider Sense. He can swing webs. By the way, we're at the Avengers Mansion, which you probably did not know was even in this game. Uh, it says it right there, uh, Avengers, Ma Avengers Mansion. Uh, I don't think anyone noticed that, but I was kind of just swinging by, and then, and then I looked down, and, and it said Avengers Mansion, and I was like, there's an Avengers Tower in the game, but not the Avengers Mansion, and then, the, then I realized that was the Avengers Mansion. So, it looks a, a bit uh, smaller in the sequel video game. So, just wanted to say that, but yeah, Stan Lee, 
really cool in this game, really neat design, and also he can turn into the Hulk, uh, Excelsior Hulk. Next up we have Superior Spider-Man, and you can see he has the uh, spider sensibility, he has the webs, and, and he has a really neat design. Uh, so I really like, uh, Superior Spider-Man. Uh, I wish the arms would move a bit more. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know why I just selected Super Scroll. Uh, but, anyway, here we have, uh, Symbiote Scientist. Which is a scientist just taken over by the symbiote. And this is actually really cool. It has this like half venom and half um, scientist. So I really like that. And I really like, I really like when you can just like take out his little like, I don't even know what it is. It's just his weapon. So I really like that. It's pretty big. Uh, when you do this, it goes away. So, yeah. There is the symbiote scientist. And he's struggling to move. Next up we have Symbiote Scientist, the Hazmat version. And uh, he's really cool. Uh, he also has the... Uh, well, he also has the weapon, which is really cool. And I really like uh, the symbiote scientist here. So, yeah, the designs look cool. But now for our, our final symbiote, we have Venom, which is really cool to have in this game. I love Venom in this game. Uh, and uh, the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 Venom is better only because of this one reason, which I'll get to right after I, I want to say. Uh, he has black webs, which is really cool. I really like uh, the little change of black webs instead of um, white webs. So, I feel the same way for Carnage. And, yeah, that's really cool. Uh, I really like Venom. He has a nice design. And uh, he looks pretty menacing, as he always does. And uh, here's my favorite part. He could turn into a uh, big fig of Venom, which is really cool. Uh, unfortunately, it can't it can't web sling due to the limits of the game, but they fixed that in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. So I wish he could at least hover. Uh, he does look really cool here, uh, but, in but in my opinion, in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, he looks a bit creepier and a bit more more like Venom. But this still looks pretty cool, and, uh, he can obviously smash, and I really like the animation where he turns into Big Fig Venom, and they can't, he can come back, uh, that's really cool, also, one more thing about Venom, while I was playing level 3, uh, at Oscorp, uh, it, 
as free play. I noticed when uh when he had the chance to hit Venom and he and he was getting bothered by the heat and the sounds. Uh I noticed the inside version of Venom was the glitch character, Citizen. So Citizen is actually Venom, which is I guess it makes sense, but I would rather see uh, Eddie Brock. But it makes sense why why Citizen is Venom. But yeah, Venom also has his sensibility, and yeah, Venom's really cool. Next up, we have Vulture. Uh. I guess he has a gun in the comics, but, but, uh, yeah, he has his little gun here, and I, I like the way that he just flaps his wings and stuff, that, that's really cool, uh, it's kind of like Falcon in the DLC, but unfortunately I don't have that character, so, Vulture's nice, I mean, it's a nice character looking, but he's obviously uh, the Spider-Man villain. So there's Vulture. Uh, next up we have, oh, that's actually it. Well, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, we're finally done with all the, uh, the different versions and that is it bye